Hello Zipperhead and welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle and today I want to be continuing on with World 4 by going into World 4-4 which should be uh, right over here as long as we didn't miss any secrets, right? Well, that's where we came out of. Uh, nothing down here. Oh, there's a little thing. Whoa, look at this. My sensors detect they bought a quick pass so that they can do the ride over and over again. Well, that doesn't seem like a good idea. It doesn't seem like a very fun ride. Okay, well, we're, just, we're just gonna go this way. Um, oh boy, another like straightaway path. I feel like we've gone down this. I hope I didn't like mess up the save. I'm pretty sure we haven't done this, but uh, in full gear, World 4-4, yeah, we definitely haven't. Oh my gosh, this place is very industrial. We have these things that we can't still dig up, but we can go through here. Ooh, and it seemed to be worth it, the least because there is this right here, and there's gonna be more power orbs, how many? Five, okay, nice little boost right there, I'll take it. And then if we go down this pipe, what are we gonna get here? Oh. So for the next couple of days, I might be posting one or two episodes of Mario Plus Rabbids a day instead of just one, or at least I try to do just one at the least, but uh, because I'm trying to, you know, I like said before there are other projects coming up, and I'm really trying to, uh, get this one done so I can get some other stuff in the way, or <laughs> out there, not in the way. Um, but I don't, like, I'm still planning on 100%ing this game, but it really will depend on you guys. If you guys don't want to see this game 100%ed, if you want to see me move on to new games and not spend the energy 100%ing this game, you can always let me know in the comment section. Uh, with that being said, oh, hey, look at that, we got another one. Uh, and that's a song. So <laughs> I guess this was worth doing, we got two prizes out of it. Uh, nothing much more. Uh, but yeah, so, Will I 100% it? Maybe. I probably will, but the chances are I'll be uploading the videos once or twice a day when it comes to Mario and Rabbids until we beat the game. I don't know if that's gonna take two, three, or maybe four more videos until we beat the final boss, whatever it is, and we get the credit sequence and we feel all happy and go lucky. That's when uh, the series will be mostly over, but we'll try to you know, have an episode every couple days where we go back in, try to finish some of these extra challenges. I know there's still more challenges and everything we have to do, but I think that's when the uploads will start slowing down a little bit as we start focusing on some new stuff because I think that's what a lot of people want is some new stuff. But we got a lot to do here. Defeat all, we have a smasher. Uh, we got two uh, supporters, or a supporter, and our first lava Valkyrie. Two lava Ziggies, uh, another Valkyrie, a lava supporter, and a lava smasher. I think that's all of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enemies. Now when it comes to the battle HQ, I don't think we really have anything right now. I still, yeah, I'm pretty positive we do not have anything to upgrade anywhere, which is just such a bummer. <laughs> I wish I did. Um, so Mario has some available upgrades, right? Uh, well, depends on what I wanna give him. Hmm. Mega Empower, why the haven't we upgraded that? Hero Sight Damage we can increase, or Empower is more effective with nearby heroes. Let's do that one. I should have done that a while ago, probably. Uh. Heroes like cooldown, ooh, that'd be good too. Okay then, okay. Those are some good things to get them. I'm glad I got them. And then over here, that's still gonna be 100. What are the things we haven't gotten? Uh, Weapon parry, body parry, weaken. I really don't care for his super moves too much. They're not a must have. But him having more health really isn't that big of a deal. I don't think he's ever passed out on us, so. What is this here? This is high ground bonus. We could give him a better high ground bonus. That might actually be better. Why don't we get two of those? Okay, <laughs> so hard to decide for him. Uh, but that should be good right then. I mean, he already has so much like vamp percentage. It's already pretty crazy. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything we wanted for Peach just yet, but if we fail miserably, we'll find out otherwise. But there's a smasher there and a smasher here. So there, there's our eight. How do I want to do this then? Um, I definitely want to be defensive as much as I possibly can because these guys just aren't gonna be fun to deal with. Um, so maybe I could get like Rabbit Luigi here. I think this would be a good spot for him, or maybe even back here. Let's try that. And from here, you can shoot a couple enemies, so that's really good. And with what Mario, okay, you can't even reach out. I I'm always making silly little mistakes like that. This is a 100% chance of landing on this guy, which would be good, because he is a supporter, and I do not like the supporters. They have so much health, like holy cow. Whoa, that was good though, an extra bit of damage for everybody, and it sort of tarnishes their position to attack us as much. Um, So we'll have Peach come on by like, oof. Uh, I guess here, I mean, I would rather her not be in such a uh, vulnerable position. Maybe we should split people up then. Uh, Peach would be fine here, I think. And then we'll have Mario follow suit. Uh, just like that. You can't land on him though, which is a big problem if you ask me. 
Hmm. All right. Um. Maybe I could have Mario over here then. That's silly to jump off of her. Yeah, okay, I feel like I definitely must. I always gotta get warmed up first round of the day. I'm gonna make a silly mistake no matter what. Um, I think that we should, as Peach, prepare this. Oh no, wait, prepare this. And then we should, as Mario, prepare this. And maybe we can get rid of at least one Smasher here, right? That would be nice, so we could probably blast you like this, boom. And that's 164 right there. I'm glad we didn't like honey him. All right, and then she's gonna blast him. Boom, and that's gonna be a critical and freezes him. We're gonna blast him again, and then we maybe we'll be able to blast him one additional time. There you go, Mario, get him good, get him good. Boom, 164, and we were finally able to get him. We had to onslaught that guy. Like, holy cow, he just would not stop. And the only person we can hit here is you, which it's tempting, but at the same time, like, I don't want him getting closer to Mario. Oh yeah, and there's Polyclaz. Pyroclast here, not Polly. Um, enemies, so there's just so many enemies. At least we took care of the Smashers. The Smashers are scary, but everything is, because everything hits for 100 damage. It's insane, luckily, he missed. Right, this Smasher's gonna move a little bit, not too much though. He might actually get hit by Pyroclast, which would be really good. Okay. Not too much actually real action going on except for that, of course. That was still some good amount of damage there. Like, I don't know what Mario's gonna be at health-wise, but might not be too pretty. Uh, and do you have anything to throw? You do, you're gonna throw that, uh, Rabbit Luigi. There's just so many enemies. We'll do what we can to pick away at them, but I feel like we're still very underleveled, but I mean, like, what can we really do about that? Okay, where's Rabbit Luigi? Rabbit Luigi's over here, so he could very easily come on over here, slide tackle you, and then maybe we, like, right here? Oh, wow, okay, didn't realize that. And it was a critical two. Oof. Oof, boy. Like, come on, come on, come on. Why? All right, I'm gonna make them all mad. Uh, hit whoever I can with this. Actually, if that's the case, then maybe I should just get Peach over here too. And I should, um, I mean, where can I land her? That might be relatively safe, but heal everybody. Here, that's fine. Ready? Boom. Boom. So, I could, okay, not yet. Instead, I'm gonna do this. Blast at least a couple of these guys. I know they're gonna be defended, but it's still worth doing. Boom. Nice, they actually got rid of some barriers that would have been in Peach's way. If we can weaken him, that might be good, or might be just good to make him, uh, we'll decide later. But now, I could hop off of Peach, hop off of him, and can I get up here at all? I cannot. I wish I could get a little bit closer so that maybe, just maybe, I could uh, blast some of these guys, but if I'm like this, uh, like that might be a good idea, but it also might not be at all. Like maybe I do want to just keep keeping my distance. Because from here I get 100% chance shot on, I think one of them or none of them? None of them? Uh, It's so hard to tell. Okay, I'll just do it from here though. Maybe that'll still be safer. Boom, got rid of you. At least I didn't get rid of you, but I made you much lower. Should we power boost? Um, That would hurt. Uh, Didn't think about that too much. Hmm. Maybe we should defend our our teammates up as much as we can, which isn't too much. I would have if I just could have gotten the slide tackle on this guy, would have changed everything up so much better. Maybe I could just do this, ink this guy. Like I don't know if that'd be all that great, but I guess it's something, right? Uh, maybe that was a silly idea. All right, if Mario's gonna get hit, he's gonna get hit. Let's just do it. Okay, maybe you'll even get like, yeah, you will get critical, but that also critical Mario. And it hurt him for much more. Okay, yeah, we always like said the first round of the day, we're gonna make stupid mistakes. It's just what I do. Uh, let's do that. I mean, maybe we need to pull out Rabbit Peach soon enough, because I just feel like we're taking a lot of hits, and maybe the extra heal will be helpful. I mean, I understand Rabbit Mario, I mean, Rabbit Luigi can do that as well, but it's just, it could just be tough. It could be really, really tough. Uh, thanks. Okay, yeah, Rabbit Mario is done. I'm not, he's just Mario. Mario's definitely done for it. I really doubt that Mario's gonna survive here. We didn't take care of a single enemy that turn either. Like, this guy's gonna come over here. He has a clear shot to Mario, but he doesn't. Okay, there you go. Right, did he get it? Did he get taken out? Yep, okay, restart the battle. We'll try it one more time with the setup that we have, and if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, then maybe we'll rethink things. So, yeah, we'll just give it our best shot. There's just so many enemies. This game is so challenging. It's insane. 
fight this uh, guy over here, and I think is, you know, our first step. Maybe I'll have Mario hide here instead this time. Like everybody's over there, so maybe if we could just find a way to keep our distance a little bit more properly, maybe that's what we should be looking for here. And then we can get you over here. And then... Okay, I think I got a good strategy for taking care of this one smasher at the least. Hop off of Mario and land about here. So now what we can do is we can activate our hero shot for Princess Peach and for Mario, just like that. And then we'll have Rabbit Luigi just straight up blast this dude as hard as he can. Come on, get a crit maybe. Okay, maybe the crit wasn't the best idea now that I think about it. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's gonna move no matter what because we as Mario can go over here and hit him again like that. Boom, and that's a critical. <laughs> that's not what I wanted, game. Why do I get the lucky crits when I don't need them? Fine then, just take him out. I mean, or I could go for this guy. Hmm. I mean, I could, and then worry about this guy next turn. It'd be a pretty easy guy to take out. So let's let's anger you. Okay, this would do more damage. So let's do this, Tian. You're gonna get mad, and you're like, I'm an angry dude. Rah! Yeah, like that. And then Peach will blast you and get you inked at the least. I don't know if it's gonna be a crit. Boom. It will be inked. Yep. And then, boom, and honeyed. Wow, we are just like oozing in the criticals today. Don't know what's up with that. But at least we got the two scary smashers a little bit lower. Bunch of pyro class falling. I'm just sort of lucky that they didn't fall anywhere near us. Because I once again forgot about them. Now we got a bunch of Ziggies, supporters, and Valkyries just moving all over the place. It's a lot to deal with. It's a whole lot to deal with. Hmm. Okay, that was silly but I guess you're just trying to chip away at any kind of protection we might have. You're gonna protect everybody, but he has 86 health. The chance of him surviving at all is just very, very long. So here's the nice thing about this, is that we can just slide attack him, and it should take him out. Yep, it does. So then, what can I do beyond that? I could either run over or I can jump over. And from here, I can just blast this guy straight up. And I can do the same from here as well, or not exactly. Okay, what if I jumped off of Peach? Would I have more options or less options? I would actually have more options. Um, That's a good thing. Options are always good. I guess I'll get you set up here. I don't know, like maybe that's a little too far off, but from here we could definitely, ouch, get hit in the face multiple times and get rid of a Smasher, but we do get a heal for it, so at the least we're getting that done. Uh, I wanna take care of this Smasher if I can manage, but he might take too much of a beating. Maybe I could, wow, I can actually get a couple of these guys weak, which is really good. So, maybe we could get Mario over. Oh, he can't make this jump though, look at that, okay. Well then maybe Peach can move a little closer. Like maybe if Peach moved one block closer, technically yeah, that would make it better distance wise, so maybe that would help? I don't know, maybe that's just silly and it won't end up working. I wish there was like a way we could see in advance, but we really can't. Then I can even get up here and where I could hit this dude. Which, you know, it might work, it might not. I do need the power boost soon enough, but I just haven't found the opportunity, really. I mean, we've just been needing the hero side. I wish I could hammer this, I can hammer this guy. And it'll hurt a lot more. He's like, no, 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 it won't hurt more. It'll tickle, don't do it. Ready? Catch, boom, and it's a critical. 330 damage, not enough to take the guy up. But next turn, buddy, oh boy, next turn, you're done for. Now, the only problem is that I sort of forgot about him. Come on. I probably should have power boosted this turn then, because I could have taken him out. I could have probably taken this guy out. He's gonna get mad now and run over and not be close. No, he is close enough. That's sort of silly. Um, All right, Peach. To take him out, you're gonna have to blast. Uh, Oh, you can't at all. Okay, then. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this then. Sorry, Rabbit Luigi, but um, you're decent at healing yourself, so I think you'll be okay. Pyroclasts are gonna come on down. They're coming down in a location I don't care about too much. These enemies are probably gonna wreak some havoc. He's at 277 health. Can he survive that? Why would you do that? <laughs> Is he gonna do the same thing please do? No, instead you do that. Okay, so, we're, so far we're getting pretty lucky. That's gonna hurt at 104 damage. And then he gets to attack again? No, he does not, thank goodness. I hope not. You're gonna go up here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh gosh. Um, and what are you gonna do? You're going to miss. Why did these guys like doing that? It's so weird. 
Um, and that's it, okay, that could have turned out way worse. Like, honestly, genuinely could have turned out way, way worse. Hmm. Now I'm just trying to think about what I can do to help. Peach has like a huge range over here, it's insane. I want her to hop off and like land as close as she can to uh, Rabbit Luigi. That's fine. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know, it's hard to say. I'm trying to find, figure out how I should go about this. I guess I should land over here so I could blast this guy. It might be more important than blasting the Smasher who can just be slide attacked by Rabbit Luigi and that would be much easier anyways. So um, we're just gonna go like that. Heal him up as much as we can and then of course we're getting heals for some other characters like, you know, Peach herself. So that's gonna be a takedown. So I can either go up here and, and ooh, I could get some stuff done up here and for sure. And, but I could also not. I could go and slide tackle this guy. I could go up here and and then just hang out. <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah, take a spot here. Oh, you know what, that could be really good. I wish I hadn't just used Mario's hammer, but I, I mean, at the same time, you know, I needed it. So, do that. That wasn't too bad. Now, if Mario were to power boost everybody here, it would not reach Peach, which is a shame because she has already moved. But if Mario was, say, somewhere else, would that be more helpful? Um, Cause Mario could even, yeah, I want him to land over here, I think. Do that, land right here, and maybe the power boost, it's definitely still gonna reach Rabbit Luigi, right? Do that, and then get your power boost ready. Actually, it's not gonna hit either of them now. Okay, Uh, is it better to get rid of one or, or weaken both? Hmm, I think it's easier and better to weaken both, especially if we can get a lucky crit, which we did not. But hey, we tried. Okay, Luigi, or Rabbit Luigi, you're all the same to me. Um, Do that, that might not take him out, especially when they're protected like this, but it was a really arch critical, almost enough to take the dude out. So we're just gonna damage you as much as we can. These guys are like so weak right now, so even if we're not taking them out, even though we did take care, care of that guy, and, we're getting very close to doing it. Rabbit Luigi didn't even need that. I think he's even back to full at this point, he is. Um, then we'll finish off the turn there, because things are going pretty darn well right now. We're turning it around quite nicely. Because the enemies are gonna move, we have two Ziggies that are on Blast Mario in the face, but as long as they're not both hitting 100 damage criticals, we should be okay. I mean, he's actually being put into a decent position, but that slide attack does so much damage. Um, please stop, please stop. Okay, so actually he might get taken out. We were doing so well. I don't know, I, I, at some point we gotta start making progress, so I think I'm just gonna keep with it. We're, we're gonna win, I think. I'm pretty sure we're still gonna win this, so I might just have to let it slide and just let Mario get taken out here. And I wish you could make your way up there. Um, loud motorcycles outside, gee thanks. Um, Cause I, can just get like Peach up here. She does have her ducky, so yeah, okay, we could actually get something go going on then. Um, how do we want to do that then? I guess just have Peach go here, because she can get rid of these guys for sure. I guess, yeah. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I messed that up. Oh well. Boom! And we got the guy up there, so it worked out. So now, as Rabbit Luigi, we could plop down here and perfectly be able to hop off of here. And she's inked, but we can fix that, just like that. And then I guess getting rid of one Ziggy would make a decent difference, so we should do that. And that'll be this turn. Like I said, I think we can handle this. As long as Peach can get a good couple shots off on him, Rabbit Luigi can follow up with some slide dashes. I think we got ourselves a decent win here. I just wish we could get stronger weapons. Like, we have the money to. There's just no weapons available. So that's like really frustrating in my opinion. Like, I don't know why that's become an issue in the game. But, uh, Peach is taking a good beating. But at this point, even if she gets taken out, I, like, I mean, it will stink, but it's not like game over levels of bad. Hmm. What can I do about all this then? Um. That right there is probably the best shot for right now. And then finish off over here, because that's gonna be 160 to you. Go up here, 
and then 160 to you, and that's and that's gonna be good because Peach is gonna want to do something about that. So first, we're gonna do Rabbit Luigi. We're gonna make him move. So catch. Yes, that's actually exactly what I wanted. So I'm really glad push finally worked for me. Uh, we might worry about weakening him, but we're not gonna worry about it at this immediate moment. Instead, we're gonna do this. And then we're in great position not only to blast these guys, but also to get hero shot up, just in case, um, you know, it doesn't do the job. Boom. It should though. Yep, it does. So that should be the one, the game one. It will not be perfect. I don't think it's gonna be too much of a challenge to go back and perfect that one, but I just don't want to right now. I wanna be able to make progress in today's video and not it be an hour and a half and at the end of it, we're still in like world four or five or something crazy. So there we go, we get that one done. No heals though, right? No heals at all, I don't think. Um, oh my. So, we need a way down, but the pipes aren't connected. Hmm, let's see what these switches do. Something treacherous, I'm sure. Got a mushroom, which would be good. Definitely that means we're not completed this level yet. Excuse me. Okay, so, doing this will change how the platforms are oriented. And with that being said, it looks like there's a lot of forms of orientation here. We can move the blue platform right now, and it looks like we really have no other choice. We don't have any other platforms leading to anywhere else, so we could do that. But now that one is blocked off, but that's okay, because it doesn't lead anywhere. But now we can go down here, and I can either push this one that way, which raises and lowers some platforms, or I can press this one. And there's like a different configuration every time. And the problem I have with this is that you simply just can't see. You just, you can't see what's going on down there, so you gotta go down. See, that's the wrong thing, go back up. You know, I don't know, it's sort of silly like that. There's definitely nothing to collect up here. It doesn't seem. So, when it's like this, I can go like that, and I can come down here, and I can press this, and that'll lower some platforms, but that doesn't really, oh no, it does do something for me, doesn't it? Okay, let's go and do that again. Yes, just like that, just like that, go back down, and that's it. <laughs> well now if we turn this, one more time, another time, there we go, that's something. Uh, well, we're still not quite at that mushroom, but maybe that could change if we go up here and there's a blue switch. There's not a blue switch, but there is a yellow switch. Um, and we're still sort of a ways away from that mushroom, which is really bad, because Mario needs to heal. Okay, but if we go back now, yeah, we should get to it. Oh, here we go, I really needed this mushroom, so this is good. I don't think I have enough orbs to increase his mushroom, like if I go like, no, skill tree. He has five orbs. Yeah, he's definitely not gonna be able to get that upgrade. Oh well, oh well, it's something. Boom, 70 health. Still not much for him. Poor Mario boy. But uh, we did what we could for poor old Mario. Okay, well this orientation works, so I'm gonna try it. Oh geez, this is making me dizzy. <laughs> so it's not this one, definitely not this one. Lots of trial and error you could do here. Bit of a complicated puzzle. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this game to be so puzzle heavy. Like, I knew that, you know, that inevitably the game itself, the combat system, was going to require a lot of strategy, but I didn't think that, you know, this is, a, you know, some out of the game, mid-world puzzle solving was gonna be something that was gonna be so expected. Luckily, the puzzles haven't been mind-bending. They have been a bit tricky at times, but the required ones have never been like, oh my gosh, I can't handle how difficult this is, you know? So that's good. And we got ourselves our next battle. I'm not looking forward to it because poor old Mario needs way more health than he currently has. Defeat all. So how many do we got? I already see one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we see here, we have, oh my gosh. We have a lava peekaboo, which this guy just looks crazy. We have a lava peekaboo again, a lava supporter, another supporter, another peekaboo, another peekaboo, and then a smasher down here. Oh my gosh, that is insane. So honestly, I think the smasher is the least of our worries here, as long as we plan our way around them. Just keep him down there. Uh, with that being said, He's probably gonna get up here, and if he does, let me lock onto him. He's gonna get up here, but not too far up here. So as long as we start rotating our, oh, there's no way to go to the left. Oof. So really, we do wanna get around him. I think we wanna stay on the high ground as much as possible. It might be good then 
to get him mad. Okay, I got an idea here. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna set him up about... Oh man, there's enemies everywhere. Um, It's hard to say, but I think, I'm not gonna use Mario's primary just yet, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Hero Sight, and as Rabbit Luigi, I guess we're gonna wait here, because I want him to slide tackle the guy and end up um, making him vamped, and that way Mario can get a lot of health back. I can only hope. So do that, he's gonna get mad and start moving, and hopefully we don't entirely take him out, because we might actually end up taking him out entirely, or doing that, but that was a crazy tough crit right there. Okay, well my initial plan did not work, but don't worry, because there are other plans to be had. I don't know why the camera wants me to go way over there. And there's some honey blocks down here too. Oh man. So, we could do that, and who can Mario reach with his current shot? Just this guy, so he should take it out. His hero shot, he still has one shot left with his hero shot. That didn't exactly work the way I wanted it to. I had a grander strategy planned. Hmm. Which shot's gonna hit the most people? I mean, I guess this, it not, it's not gonna hit the guy behind him, but it might, with any luck, actually end up breaking some of these blocks or exposing them. Yep, like honey. And now the, these guys are a little bit honeyed, so. I can't see if this, <laughs> hold on. There we go. Oh wow, so I can actually do that, interesting. Um, so yeah, that's not gonna get any of them. Mario is still in super low health though, so I just hope he'll remain okay. Maybe we should do some protection this turn, just in case he takes a beating. Cause I think we could really get him back up the speed here as long as we can van somebody, Mario smash him, and then also get some peach uh, team jumps. I should have done the, you know, I did mess up. I should have done a peach team jump that turn. And they know how low he is. Look at them go, they're just attacking his defenses. Oh man, they could have, well, he could have gotten him there. So I guess maybe they don't know. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, get peach instead, I don't care. And what about Yoon? You're not gonna do nothing? Okay. Uh, Mario's gonna blast this dude, yeah, get out of here. Okay, he can actually get, okay, before he healed, he could have actually gotten taken out by a Rabbit Luigi's slide tackle, and that's why we need to focus on the supporters, because they can do that and make our lives very difficult. So, if I landed down here, it would not heal Mario, and that's sort of a big issue. So, I think I'm just, I mean, I could just land back here and heal him, and that might be my best bet. So, yep, yep, boom. And that's 90 health, so that's actually more than doubling the health he had. See, as Rabbit Luigi, yes, I can slide tackle him still though, so that's very, very good. I can't slide tackle anybody else around here. So my best goal is to go with this pipe and see who I can torment, and I can get rid of a peekaboo, which is huge. I still wish I could uh, take care of more than two enemies with my slide tackle, but I mean, <laughs> there's only so much you can do, right? <laughs> that would be like 450, 480 damage worth of uh, slide tackles so if we can do three, and that's at least lucky. Finally, push is working out for me, but I don't know. Still don't know how to feel about it. Uh, so Mario, unfortunately, he can't actually shoot any of the people that I thought he was gonna be able to shoot here. Um, I mean, he could go down the pipe, and then he could hide somewhere like here, and he could blast this dude, and that'd be great because you know what he could end up doing is uh, getting the vamp off of it, even though he will lose some health probably because he's just gonna be simply attacked. Let's try it. <laughs> Boom, critical though. That's gonna be really good, it's just more health for Mario. So we went from like, what, 119 to 310 there? Good. Nobody else can really do anything crazy. I mean, apparently, yeah, this guy is still over here. Let's go ahead and weaken him then, make sure he doesn't doing anything crazy. And then maybe even activate Hero Sight on Peach because she's not gonna be able to blast anybody, but there is a peekaboo over there. Okay. So this guy's gonna do something, but he's weakened, so it didn't do really too much. He's gonna move over there, and you're gonna blast Peach. Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. This guy, yeah, he's gonna honey Mario. That's sort of an unfortunate thing, but we still got more health than we lost there then, for sure. Let's go through here, and we'll hop off of you and then land like, yeah, right next to the dude. Just destroy him. Because if we could get rid of a supporter, that's big news. I probably should have slide tackled one of those peekaboos first though, and that did clear him. It did not heal Mario though, because I didn't think about that. Um, but this will do so much damage. But Mario, my main man, can you power boost? 
you can't power boost in this range. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that. You're gonna land on this one, sure, and get back over here and <laughs> do a full loop-de-loop. -loop. Ready? Slide attack, jump off of her, jump off of him, then jump back over here, power boost everybody once we get over there, but first, as Rabbit Luigi, can I do anything spectacular with anybody near me? I cannot, so go through this pipe, get as close as we can, so that we can also get benefits from the damage boosting. And we got this one down pat. Um, so move to Mario. He has his damage boost, it's 30%, which is great. Um, now Peach, you're over here, you're gonna hit as many of these guys as you can, you can hit a fair amount, boom. Nice, and it was a critical. Two of those guys down, and then finally we have him, which unfortunately, oh no, we have two more. All right, so I could take this guy out and destroy him, but I could also attack this guy and get him really close to taking out. Let's see if we can't get a lucky crit. No, we couldn't. That's unfortunate, but we are very close to winning. And that's really the, the biggest focus, right? Is to get as close as we can to winning. And, uh, okay, that's not a big deal. Because it's even like, they're just nearby to Rabbit Luigi, like he has two health. Somebody's gonna be able to take him out. Easily. Um, where is he gonna move? Over there? Okay, that's not a big deal. We're gonna have Rabbit Luigi come up here and slide tackle this guy and then just be done. I mean, you can just chill out here for some reason. Get a nice view. And then we just gotta get those two down and Mario has how much health down? Plenty, 226 is gonna be fine. And then we're gonna get healed after this run, I can only hope. Hmm, can Peach? Like where's Peach right now? Could she uh, potentially get up here into a better position? I mean, she could get right here. That might not really do as much as I'm hoping, but it might also do something. <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, get up here. Get up here. All right, well, I'm not gonna be able to do that, but I can at least blast him from here and just end the game, and that'll that'll be all we need. It'll be, <laughs> maybe make it overcomplicated. Go, see ya. Don't need that crit. <laughs> That was 196 more damage than I needed, but it is damage I'll take. Uh, Yeah, got everything perfectly there. So if we can just redo the first one at some point, that shouldn't be that big of a deal. And it was the end, I was correct, so we get a full heal there. Very good. Okay, maybe not very good. Overall good. I had to drink tea though, you know? But we got 40 orbs for that, which is pretty crazy. We're getting so many orbs at the least, and you know, that's something that's good. Uh, we can get this prize right here, which is gonna be some tarot cards I don't care about. Can't do anything about that. So we're gonna keep moving. What is going on here? Ooh, we got ourselves a funny little rabbit. Hello. Good to see there's at least one rabbit who's got his butt in gear. Ha ha ha, gosh, I'm on a roll tonight. I guess so. I mean, really just have to put you on your side and put you down a slight slant and you'll be rolling down the whole thing. See, I'm on a roll today too. Uh, we're going through here. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a new weapon. Hopefully. Uh, I don't know, I don't think this has ever not given me a new weapon. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a new weapon. Okay, there's a lot going on here, a lot to process. But I think we need to get that, put that here, go through here, and get that, go back through, and hope that there's no coins like hidden in the blocks. I don't think there would be. There's not, yay! So we get this, and this is gonna be a brand new weapon, definitely, because the gold chests always seem to have weapons. This is going to be for Mario, the Peeper Reaper. When it comes to this melee weapon, it's an eye for an eye with an eye. Okay, I hope that's a good weapon. Maybe it's like vamp damage or something. I don't know like what, what an eye would be. When it comes to like, I mean, obviously, we were talking about, you know, explosions in the last one for Peach's Rubber Ducky and it ended up being an ice, you know, effect one. So I don't really think the descriptions really have anything to do with that. Um, where is it? It's way over here, 1550. It's a bounce, which doesn't make too much sense. Um, it does 275. It doesn't really do that much more damage, though. Like, I don't know. It's like, it's not to die for damage, it's a very small upgrade. For a hammer, we don't use a ton. I don't think it's worth, you know, uh, I don't know, I don't like it. Hmm, maybe I'm silly to not like it. Whoa, it's a big old bicycle uh, sprocket. Someone could have at least l played bike polo on this or at least hung the wheel from their kitchen ceiling to hang pots from. Oh, if you say so. And that is a tarot card. And here's the rest of the bike <laughs> going through the chain of it. Cool, all right, okay, yeah, we're at four five. That's to be expected, we completed four four. Um, oh my. What in the world is that thing? 
This is the biggest pipe labyrinth yet. Seriously, how paranoid is Bowser Jr.? I mean, seeing how we're succeedingly getting through them, probably pretty. So, so many pipes leading to nowhere, and is that a mech? At what point do you just move to a gated community, you know? I mean, to be honest with you, there's no stronger gate than inside the, the realms of a volcano. <laughs> there's only one way through this place that will lead us to spawning. Let's watch our step. There's no time to lose. Okay. Well, if I see this correctly, which I do not because not everything's matched up correctly. Okay, okay, now I understand. Uh, man, this is crazy. But there's some extra stuff we can get here for sure. Like if I just press a button. All right, that didn't really do too much for me. But if we do that, now it's gonna lead there, which is, oh wait, whoa, 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 okay, we can get over here, but that's not really what I want. But if I mix with the blue one a little bit, mix with it again, I'm getting very close to the solution already, which is not really what I wanted. I wanted to try to find some of this extra stuff. Um, I'm trying to find out how we can get onto that blue, like what we're just gonna try to do is one at a time so we can get some of these other prizes. Could I in any way? Oh, okay. Okay, if that works, it works. I'm glad that it actually sort of very clearly visually points it out to you. I thought it was gonna be a lot more subtle, which would have been a lot more difficult, but we do get a music thing. Nothing crazy, but it, it's something. That's one extra prize for us. And then if we go back, there is a, I think that's a golden chest down there. It's really hard to tell but I hope it is, and I'm gonna try to make it work. If I move this green one. Oh, hey, which one was that? This one? I think so. Okay, <laughs> that worked out pretty well. I can't really tell if I'm guesstimating or not, if I'm getting really lucky or, you know, I'm actually being smart about this. This looks to be a golden one. Doesn't look bronze, but it's bronze actually. Okay, what a disappointment. Never mind then. Um, those are the only two chests I see, so I, I can only assume that that's the case, you know? Get back up here. Well, no, there's one way back there. And to get that one, really we wanna switch around the yellow one a good, good amount. And then mess with the green one. And then it goes all the way around here so we can mess with the red one. Perfect, yeah, okay, there we go. I'm not too bad at this, look at me. <laughs> If we go all the, way, all the way over here, it's gonna loop back around. It's, it's very convoluted pipe, but I made it all work. I'm sure there's multiple answers too, which is always the coolest part about these kind of things. But this one way back here, though, is super hard to see. Um, oh yeah, and we're right next to the Mac. You'd think we'd just go over there and knock it down. But we get ourselves an extra 20 power orbs. So combine that with the uh, 40 we got, everybody got an extra 60. Why can't I go back in the pipe? Um, but this is the pipe I just left from. So I had to reload the chapter. Luckily, the first two treasure chests we got, that got saved. Uh, this one, of course, didn't. So, I mean, if I take a look. Um, oh no, it is, oh. Oh, um, okay, so it did save it, I just didn't see it. This pipe is glitched. That's really weird. So glitched pipes aside, all we need to do now is solve the rest of the puzzle. I think the first thing we should do probably is mix up the yellow one. Um, no. There we go, that's a lot better. So that's on the green right now. So if we switch around the green a little bit, just like that, yep, we solved it, okay. So it does save it. So once you save it, it saves. Even though, you know, when you restart a chapter, it says like, all chapter progress will be lost. All the chests you got, they, they, they stay. So we got everything there. It's just a weird glitch pipe, which I don't know, that and the game crash we had a couple episodes ago, very not common for Nintendo games. So I don't know, I guess that's, you know, because it's made by Ubisoft, not Nintendo, but this place looks fun. Menacingly fun, but you know, menacing can be a type of fun, I guess. It's just because Bowser's a little kid. That is so adorable, his little bedroom's right there. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, let's spend up some stuff then. Because we go to our weapon selection, we don't have anything new. I don't know why I thought we did. Skill tree, Mario. What do we get here, you know? There's just so much to get, and it's always so hard to decide. Maybe we, maybe we should hold on then. Uh, Rabbit Luigi, hold on, and then Peach. That might be nice to get the extra slide damage. The team jump range could be useful, or we can increase the royal gaze damage, increase her health. Mega protection, ooh, mega protection actually sounds nice right now. 
We'll do Mega Protection, she has 70 left over. Um, And let's up Royal Gaze damage. Will that be worth it? Maybe. We'll find out. But we're gonna, we're gonna fight. Okay, so we have to defeat all, which means there are two Smashers here. There is a Lava Supporter, a Smasher, and a Smasher. Actually, just, actually no. Why do I keep on thinking these Smashers are Bucklers? Is that gonna be more difficult or less now? I don't know. I mean, whenever it comes to bucklers, it almost seems like we always get, oh, look at that, actually, that's super helpful right there. We get more luck, typically, when it's um, Rabbit Mario on our team. We're gonna side tackle you, then, and wait about here, and that could be really good. I really like the pipe setup so far. It makes everything easy. Uh, slide tackle you, 160 damage right off the bat. You know, health, up, you know, he didn't particularly need, but I'm glad to have. Now what we could do is get Mario over there, and jump like this, and then maybe even land over here to prepare to go through this pipe, which leads us on the other side. This feels a lot like the uh, Donkey Kong boss fight map in the layout. <laughs> and I guess there's only so many map ideas you can have, but definitely feels similar. So we could take him out like that. Let's see what Peach can do in potential. I mean, she could actually come over here and, and just totally ruin this dude's day. We should try that, actually. Um, Like, maybe it's a silly idea, but Peach can you know hold her own for at least a little while. And Mario and Rabbit Luigi can heal each other just through the end. You know. Now let's try this and then catch. Boom! <laughs> Hands to the sky, Rabbit Boy. There you go. So, what more can we do here? We could take you out. We could not do damage to him, which is sort of a shame. Then who can uh, Rabbit Luigi hit? Oh, wow. Okay. So. I mean, the thing is, is that with this launcher, we can hit him from any direction. So we wanna, if we can get a dead on shot like this now, might as well do it and get a lucky crit that might push the one into the other. Look at Push actually helping today. Oh, Peach, you're awesome. You're awesome, Peach, yes. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was like a little game of pinball. Okay, and then Mario, you could, in theory, may, oh no, actually, you can't, you can't reach. Okay, then, you're gonna take uh, this guy and then why not? The character's gonna be moving around for sure. Let's get his double true strike out. Yeah, it's definitely Mario time, buddy. Uh, I'm really not fearing for Rabbit Luigi. What a first turn! What a first turn! The problem now is that Peach is in a very vulnerable spot, but she has 500 plus health. I think she can handle it. Even if she does get inked, gets blasted a second time here, even though the camera will not show us how much damage she is receiving. Um. Yeah, that isn't too bad. The only problem there is that they actually got healed. Okay. Maybe I should get Peach across somehow. Um, Where does this pipe bring us? This pipe brings us over here. Which really isn't that grand of a, a you know an exchange. I mean, it would be if we could get, well, maybe we should then, mm, lots of decisions we can make here. It's actually really tough to say. because I could really use Peach getting cleared. So why don't we get her like here? Boom, just because I don't like him. <laughs> uh, get over here, we could, there's a, a couple options here and that makes it like really tough. But I'll do what I can to make them work. Hmm, I think we should get Mario over here, hop off of Peach, Unfortunately, he will not be able to, uh, and if he's not gonna be able to uh, jump off any of them, he might as well land a little farther away than I originally planned. That way uh, we can get more splash damage with uh, Rabbit Luigi and Peach's moves. So now that Peach is uh, over here and she's relatively safe, we could, I guess they're not there. I was actually hoping uh, it'd go a little farther, but hey, that's okay. Boom, it's something. It's actually, that was a vamp box? Interesting. Wasn't aware of that. So we could either blast him or one of these two guys. I think we need to blast this guy because if not, he's gonna heal. There's 159 damage to him. And he's actually in a position where I think that if uh, Rabbit Luigi attacked him, it wouldn't quite reach any of his friends. That stinks, but once again, we need to get rid of him because he's just gonna heal those chargers, our shield guys. You know what they are. So actually, we still haven't moved Rabbit Luigi, so let's move him like here. I wish he could hop off of Mario, but he cannot. So maybe we get him like here, and his 
thing won't reach, but we can at least make him immune to super effects so he can't get bounced away or anything crazy like that. And that's gonna be good for next turn when we slide both of these dudes, because they're definitely gonna be moving closer. And they do. And once again, they fixate on Peach. Which, honestly, Peach can handle it. Out of all the characters, yeah, he's gonna attack Marion. Not too surprised about that one. So Peach, you got a lot of options here. And I think that the option you're gonna use is to go like this and land about here. Because you can use your uh, shot very well here. Lots of opportunities for the both of them. Unless I landed that wrong for Peach. Uh, uh, I don't know how that, how it'll work, so we'll have to see. But for right now, I can do this, and I can even get Mario like here, for a hammer situation if I need to. There we go. So, uh, hmm, maybe I did make Mario a little too close, it depends. <laughs> but we'll just get everybody here, just like that. Because remember, we got another battle to survive after this, so it would be good to keep as much health as we possibly can. Hmm. So Mario, if you were to hammer right now, it would hurt some of your teammates, but not in a devastating way. Actually, it is pretty devastating. That was 231 damage. But not enough to take her out. Very good. Okay, then. A perfect. It started at the first turn on that was very good, but then we sort of slowed down towards the end, and oh, look who it is. It's Bowser Jr. Um, what is he doing? Oh, is he pulling up his mech? He just means business. He had the evil, like, sneer going on. No. What's your name? I forget. It's Pawnee. That's it. Poor Spawny. And he's got a weird, like, it's like a mix between the Super Mario World mech and a rabbit. Oh, my gosh. And he has a big hammer. A big Moo Moo hammer. The Mecha Junior. Junior's fave B-Day gift. Oh, my. When did he get this? How old is Bowser Junior? Like, five? Probably around there. Oh my gosh, look at him go. Well, it's time for a boss fight. Let's do it. So, wow, 2,000 health. He gets to move first, but obviously he ain't moving too much. Oh, he has one of those. That's just the first time a boss has had one of those. And two supporters that have 540 health each. So this definitely, I, I'm not surprised this was actually ended up being a boss fight, Arion. Hmm. I think that we need to focus on getting rid of this thing because it's gonna hurt. It's immune to uh, criticals though, which is funny. Boom. There we go, that's good. So the thing is, is that usually I need Peach to land in a specific location, that way she can heal, she can actually like heal people. But this time, I don't because she's the only one who needs healing. So we can try this out for now. And then, Move over to, I mean, maybe Rabbit Luigi should be on his own over here. Because once again, he has very good, you know, solo sustainability. Man, that, that sentence has a lot of sibilance. Um, I probably should have moved him against the block. Let's go like that, go like that, and land over here. I mean, maybe over here would be even better. And then that'll be a good start, I think. It'll heal Peach for at least 100. She does a decent job at healing herself, 103. And she could blast him like that, or like that. Or she could chuck it at, you know, Rabbit and Rabbit. It's just Bowser. Bowser Jr. I can't think of proper words for things anymore. I mean, there's so many combination type words in the Mario universe. Rabbit Mario, Mario, Mario Jr. There's no Mario Jr. There's a baby Mario, which is sort of similar. Okay, you know what, if you do, so he works as like a smasher does. If you hit him, he, he moves closer. Magnet dance draws opponents. Chase range, six cells. So yeah, he has a chase range, which means if you hit him, he gets mad at you. Well, it's looking like it's a little too late to do anything about it, so we might as well. And then, you're probably in a pretty safe area, so we're not gonna worry about you too much. So yeah, this one's going for Peach. Like, I think, oh, oh. She critted so hard it broke the game. <laughs> what? Why? Okay, so we're doing the boss fight again. The problem is I had to replay that first battle as well. Luckily, I did it better than I did last time, and so our characters are closer to being at full health. Peach has barely taken any damage. Mario's a little low, but that's okay, because we can make that work. We can, um, honestly, I wanted to do the same setup I did last time, because we were very close to doing a lot of damage to him. We landed that critical, and then Mario was gonna hit him twice, and that would've done a lot of damage. So I wanted to sort of do that again, if I can. Oh, and we had a critical there, so that thing is done for, which is really good. So I'm gonna get set up with the same idea again. 
I mean, obviously, only so much you can do. But hopefully it works out in a similar way because I think it has some real potential. So first off, we're gonna get Mario through first, I think. That way maybe uh, we could get the boat set up in a... Oh no. What happened to the platforms? <laughs> okay, um... Maybe they went away because I destroyed them in the last round, which is sort of silly. I mean, I just, I don't know how I can prepare for something like that. That really sort of funnel, funnels down my um, plans a little bit. Let me go ahead and just land Peach, like, I guess like, I, I don't know, I'd want her ahead of Mario. That way, there's no way she's accidentally blasting Mario. Having her back here, does, you know, there's no uh, point in that. Yo, she has like significantly less chances and oh my gosh, it stinks. I gotta be like super aware of that kind of stuff and it's hard to be super aware of that kind of stuff. Um, So we're gonna activate her hero strike and then activate Mario's hero strike or hero sight or whatever it's called. Does it really need to have a super fancy name that must be abided by of every moment of every day? I don't think so. And we can throw this and not only will it hit uh, Bowser Jr. here, it'll hit his little friend too. The only problem is that, of course, he does have some defense now, but it's still good to get this if this crashes the game again. It does not. It is a critical, but it's not nearly as much as it was last time, which is a huge disappointment. I mean, oh boy. What did he do? I guess he just stepped on her. Oh. Um, okay. Well, I think we're already gonna have to restart this. He has so much health. Oh my gosh, and he does burn damage too. Yeah, Mario's already taken out. All right, well, that strategy's not gonna work. Can't believe I had to play through the, the first one twice just to find that out. I mean, I was about to get that experience the first time. Wait. Oh, that's why. It all counts as one big battle. Oh. Why? <laughs> Why can't they just be two separate battles? Oh my gosh. I can't believe it does that. I can't believe that when you want to restart one, you gotta restart both. Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. Like, it really, really doesn't. It's never been like that at all for the rest of the game. It's just such a punishment. It's not like the boss itself doesn't seem to be hard enough as it is, you know? So it's just, I don't know, it's really silly. Really not so cool. I think really what we want to focus on is probably damaging that guy then. I think that's our best bet, is getting rid of these supporters. Cause I feel like they're just gonna make stuff extremely difficult for us no matter what, so we should just blast you. Yep. And then same thing with Rabbit Luigi, get rid of him if maybe we can. No, we can't, not this time. Okay, well, we can start with Mario, move him here. Luckily there's more here than there was last time, so that's nice. Um, cause if, as long as we don't attack, I mean, how much is his movement? He has a huge range of movement, but not big enough to get the, here in one turn. So that's good. We can, of course, do what we did last time, which is uh, get Rapid Luigi over here. I think that's still good to split these three up, at least a little bit. That way there's some maneuverability and some fail safes, I guess you could say. But uh, let's uh, get, Peach over here. She doesn't really even need to heal Mario, so it's not a big deal if she goes over here instead. And then maybe she can make her way through the pipe next turn, get a little closer to these enemies that we very much so need to take out. And where's she at now? Health wise, 452, not too bad. This will not hurt. Um, I mean, I don't think it'll hurt Bowser Jr. Will he come closer as a result of that? He will not, okay. Uh, when it comes to everybody else, I think we're gonna leave it. We don't want him to attack if he doesn't have to. This is gonna move a little closer, but not close enough for it to actually get anybody. It has one health left. Oh wow, so he actually did come after Robin Mario this time. Called him closer and is gonna, oof. That hurts, that really hurts. So Rabbit Luigi could get taken out this turn depending on how these guys act. Yep, he's already taken out. Holy cow, is this gonna be a tough boss fight? And now I don't feel like we're starting it because I do not wanna have to deal with that again going through the first one. I've gone through it three times when I've already successfully done it. Like, perfect. It gave me the perfect. I shouldn't have to redo it. So I'm gonna deal with what I can with two characters. If we could defeat this boss with two characters, I will be very uh, entertained with myself, but. Jeez, let's just like, jeez, man. Like, he was at full health before. Boom, get rid of this jerk. And then we're gonna switch to Mario. He can't actually reach the pipe, so maybe he should. Can he reach anything from here? Uh, maybe we could just blast this guy. 
And then as Mario, we could... Blast that. Okay. And then, like, Mario will be out in the open, but, I mean, it's really not that big of a difference from the little bit of protection he has over here. And I don't think I want him to have true sight with how Bowser Jr.'s moves around. I just really don't think I do. Because he does also, he does not have a range attack, actually. Wow, okay. I was hoping that that wouldn't happen, but even then, he's not close enough, so that's really good. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Like, this is so ridiculous. What is my best bet here? That guy is way over yonder. So I think that if I was Mario, I mean, maybe it'd even be smarter just to move around from this way. I think this is smarter. Keep as far away of as to him as I can. Another good thing is it seems like he cannot fit through pipes. I really don't think he can. The thing is, is that that chase, though, is just so awful. We really, I don't know, I think I might actually want to pull up Luigi here. Because Luigi is going to be able to keep distance better. We want characters that can keep a distance. Peach might not be helpful. Rabbit Mario not, might not be helpful. Because he's going to chase them down and hit them much harder than we were able to hit him. All right, well, there's that. The problem is now he is so close to Mario. It's like it's almost just not worth it to hit him. Because what is he, he's gonna hit Mario here for sure. Yeah, he just changed his sight onto Mario. And this is gonna do how much damage here? 240, yeesh. I gotta get rid of this guy though. He's just making it even harder than it already has to be. So what's the best way to do that? I'd imagine getting across to here, but then Mario's gonna get attacked again. Um. Yeah, I think we gotta redo this. The problem is that the first one is so easy with Mario, Peach, and Rabbit Luigi. I don't even know if it gives you the option to change the characters. Like, it doesn't act like the normal battle would. It's so weird. Let's get across to here. And we're gonna blast this guy. It's not gonna do too much damage, but at least it's gonna vamp him. And that way Mario can get his health back. Because Mario could just blast this guy right now. <laughs> he stands up nice and tall. Uh, 79. So Mario can skedaddle over here and and how far, you can't, well I mean, if I hide like here, you won't be able to reach. So we'll go ahead and go this far out and hope that, yeah no, he can't reach. I don't think he should be able to, but we'll have to see. And that's it, we're not gonna do hero sight on him here. Maybe if he was on like the other side of the map, yeah, he'd rather move towards Peach, which is not, he's not quite close enough until he does that move. That's sort of the thing, it's like, the map's not big enough for this dude. I understand, it's supposed to be probably one of the last boss fights here. I don't think it's the final boss fight. I mean, maybe it's the final boss fight. That'd be really weird if there would be that short of a world four. I mean, hey, that'd make it easier for me, but I mean, it's not always about being easy. Um, But I understand that that's why it's so difficult, but I just don't like the unconventional wishy-washiness of it. Of, you know, oh, hey, this is how the game normally works, but we're not gonna make it work that way this time for no real reason. I really don't like it when games just decide to do that for no reason, like it really bothers me. Um, but as Mario, we can move over here. He's a little too far away to get anything too much done here. So after this, we'll have the supporter gone and we can focus purely on Rabbit, or no, Rabbit, just Bowser Jr. I wonder if he'll get turned into a rabbit, that'd be funny. Just seeing a little Rabbit Bowser Jr. pop around. Some, this turn, where is he? He is over here. Oh, I think our best bet is really just not to mess with him too much. Next turn, we'll really mess with him, but this turn, hopefully he can like move over here and yeah, just like do something not too special. Yeah, okay, that didn't, no, it did call her over. Not enough to hit her though, right? Please, please? Wow, really? What are you gonna do? Okay, don't hit her. Thank you. Okay, geez, Louise. Um, Can Mario reach this pipe over there? He can't and she can't reach that pipe over there. This is like, <laughs> not meant to be. The problem is like, if I go like this to Mario, oh no, she will hop around him. Okay, that's what I need. Knight in shining armor. No, it did! What the heck, the pathing said it wouldn't! The pathing said it wouldn't! What was that? The game is lying to me! The pathing said it would not do that! What the heck is wrong with this game? Like, holy cow! 
Like, it literally showed that it would not do that. And it was like, oh, I'm gonna do it. It's just like, then you lied. Then it's not even strategic. It's just pure luck. Oh my gosh, that is infuriating. Like, it wouldn't be half as infuriating if, you know, it's just like, oh, okay, I'll, I just will have to redo the boss fight again. But I don't have to just redo the boss fight. I have to redo the thing before this, too. And it's just, I only have 24 hours in a day. <laughs> Okay, come on, at least like, look at how much damage we can do when it's like this. Yeah, you jerk. And he's probably gonna hit us here. He's definitely gonna hit us here. He, yeah, he's gonna take us out right now and we're gonna lose. Unless that gets us away, now we just lost. Yep. What the heck? The game like double, triple duped us. That's our first time getting like a proper game over. I think. I feel like the game duped us. Like, I feel like it said this will happen. I trusted it. And that didn't happen. I'm getting really good at that at the least. Two out of four. So I can skip this cutscene, defeat mid boss. I think I do have the chance to change my characters, but it's like obviously it recognizes this as a second battle, but wants me to do both as one. And I don't know if that's an oversight. I don't think it is though. But we prepare for battle. I'm gonna change my team up a little bit if I can. Team selection, I think we're gonna do no, we're gonna do this. And if we go back in, oh no, no, I don't need to go back in, but if we go to our weapon selection, I got a lot to change here because I know that I think Rabbit Peach could probably use an upgrade. Like this is honey against Ziggy's. Okay, actually then, if it doesn't do any more damage then I don't care. Um, right now this is 80 to 90. If we could get any kind of increase on that, we can get some major increases on that. So we get to choose between honey and push. Let's just do honey because it's more reliable. If we do the Luigi then, the same thing. Um. Okay, um, should be fine then. If we check out, yeah, Luigi here and, okay, we got what we got then. I don't think we could do too much better than that. So, now we need to go back to the skill tree and Rabbit Peach has so many upgrades. So she can get four dashes and they can be all 100 damage each, which is really good, that's 400 damage per turn depending on the enemies available. We could upgrade her health, we could upgrade her movement range. I think most importantly, if she has any heals, we can upgrade Mega Heal, Body Parry, Shield Cooldown, Heal Cooldown, okay. So upgrade this as much as we can, and then upgrade, her. oh, we can't upgrade her Heal Cooldown. Okay, let's upgrade her Heal Range, and that's a decent combo of stuff. Now when it comes to Luigi, we can either upgrade his slide attack, we can upgrade his high ground bonus, which will not help us here because there's no high ground. I think mostly for him, he needs more health. He has next to nothing, so plus extra 40 health is gonna make a world of a difference. So let's try that. I know I've been trying much of Rabbit Yoshi, but I just feel like he's, you know, he's joined our team so late in the game that I just haven't had the time to practice him at all. So maybe if this does not work out, um, we'll try something different with Rabbit Yoshi. But for now, I think this is what's gonna work. Of course, he gets to move first, because he's a goody two-shoes. And it's gonna be tough to figure out what to do right away. But I think that we need to avoid using our shots on that thing, because as long as we uh, manage it, we should be fine with avoiding it. Everybody here has full health. So I could even power boost everybody. The problem is, is that I don't think that we can even get into a position where we can properly attack most enemies. Um, I'd even maybe think that Luigi should get around, just back up here. And this is the farthest he can be from Rabbit. Rabbit. I don't know why I do that every time. From Bowser and at this very moment. And if that's the case, maybe we should get some of this going on. Boom. I don't know, that might have been a huge regret right there. And we're gonna find out sooner or later. Probably sooner rather than later. Just so that we can deal with it. Because the worst part is being about to win and then getting ruined. You know? Like, I know we need to do damage to these supporters, but we're just not in the best position to. From here, though, we can at least damage one of them. So let's do that. Gotcha. Okay. So, the first thing we'll do is that if we wanna, who do we wanna hit with this? We can either hit, we only have two choices here. We might as well try to smack you, then boom, we get a 152, and it hits his friend over there. Okay. Oh, he hurt himself. Oh, look at that. That's the key, huh? Is to uh, hit him like that. Okay. I can't believe we can't hit a. Uh, I can't believe that. 
thanks scheme. That makes no sense. Sometimes it's like, I don't know, it's so unreliable like that. I feel like sometimes, well, you know, we can peek around weird positions like that, and sometimes we just can't. Um, Weapon damage reduction, I don't think we'll need that. Mario can't really hit anybody here, so we might as well just try to destroy, destroy, <laughs> destroy this guy's shield a little bit. I can't speak, I'm just flabbergasted at the difficulty of this game. Maybe he'll be dumb and move somewhere else, he won't. So Luigi's gonna lose almost all of his health immediately. He might actually just get taken out right here, right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So far, I mean, it's good because Rabbit Luigi, I mean, just Luigi, hasn't taken damage and actually looks like he will not. Holy cow. But if we want that to stay a fact, we need to either get Luigi over here. And I guess that's the best way to do it, is to get Luigi like here. And I guess the most defensive spot for him to be is like here. Get him like that. Have Rabbit Peach heal as many people as she can. Wow. All right. Heal you guys up. If that's gonna be the case, then let's get Mario into frame here. We will slide attack you. We will uh, hop off of Luigi, jump off of that, land over here. Boom. And we'll be able to take care of his little goons this turn, I think. Boom, and hopefully that's in range of the heal. I mean, if not, oh well. Like, can Rabbit Peach, they can re she can reach both of the boys. Boom. Okay, that's actually a ton of healing, holy cow. I didn't think it was gonna be that much. I'm a little blown away then. Where can we get her that might be beneficial? I mean, the thing is is that Bowser Jr. is really far away right now. If we could find a way to make this work, that'd be really good. So boom, slide attack you for 100 damage is really nice. Oh, I wish this could damage you more, but it's what we got. Okay, Hero Sign, this might be the biggest mistake in my life. Steely Stare. Get rid of you. And there's a critical, come on now. Um. Blast you like this, because he has such a long way to walk here. And boom, you're gonna start moving. Luigi's gonna blast you again. Boom, 140. Mario's gonna, oh no, he's not gonna hit you. I guess you really still weren't in range. Because I think his running range and his chase range are two different things. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Is gonna hurt. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> He's still kicking though. No, he's not. No, he's not. Never mind. Luigi's dumb. Not dumb. Done. <laughs> he's not dumb. He held down a lot there. Oh my gosh, though. Come on. We could just smack you with a hammer right now. So tempted. So tempted. But it's not worth playing that game in this. You do not want to play the go get up close. Because if I wanted to play that game, I would have picked Rabbit Mario instead. And what instead, I need to keep some distance. I'm gonna, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him like this. And we gotta play, we gotta play monkey in the middle. That's really the, the goal here. I don't think he'll turn and hit Rabbit Peach. I don't think it works that way. But he will kick her off, which I should have thought about a little bit more, huh? Okay. Well then, I should do that. I should get this shield up. And that'll do 155, this'll do 225, but it will guarantee. Like, I don't know, I should have uh, moved Rabbit Peach first then. That'll do so much damage out, 234 is great. Okay, and you will attack this turn, so this is gonna turn out really bad. But still, Rabbit Peach's heal is a lot more than I thought it would be at this point in the game. I didn't think it was gonna be that, you know, effective. He's real low though at 655, but that's the end of Rabbit Peach's story. Mario's gonna have to do that 655 all on his own. All by myself. But that's fine, honestly, I couldn't care less as long as we survive it. Just what's the best way to survive it is the big question right now. I have to go through this pipe. I'm almost tempted to not attack him this turn. I'm almost tempted, yeah, to play this, like if, I, if I'm already not getting a perfect. So I might as well play the super long game, which includes him going all the way over here. And Oh, he's gonna call me over. Is that gonna be close enough, though? This game sometimes, holy cow. Um, 
Ooh, the decisions are real rough. Real rough and tough. We're gonna empower. We are going to run over here. And this should be a decent distance. Decent enough for me to land a shot on him and then him be able to run over but not be able to then totally make it. He just used his one power, so boom, bam, 204. And there's nothing more I can do here to so turn just automatically and I switch to him. And we'll actually, he, he can walk that distance. So we actually might be done right here. And depending on if he gets like a crit or something, he doesn't, but he should that hurt. It's just you can't get away from him quick enough. He's just too quick, he runs too far. And like I can run through here and the best way to do it is to play a good round to keep away, but that's so hard to do with the initial two uh, supporters. If the two, initial two supporters, I guess they're not their supporters are Valkyries. The initial two Valkyries weren't there, then yeah, this would be a different story, but it isn't. So our best bet here, and he has four, he has 451 health. We could win, potentially. Can I go into, no, 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 Tacticam. This is, how much damage? 135 damage. We hit him for 100 damage. This does 135 damage. That's 235 damage. And then we get our true strike. That'll be 400. It might work. If he can hit more than the average of 100 per shot, which he should, I'm sort of lowballing it just in case. We could win right here. First, activate this. Then. Shoot him and not the bomb, because that'd be silly. Boom, shoot him. There's 157 damage, that's a good start. 157. Two, almost 300. Boom, just like that, we win, yes! Get out of here, you stinker! Yeah, your toy's broken, and you're not gonna get a new one. It was a limited edition, there aren't any more, you broke your toy. I feel bad for saying that, but at the same time, he was so mean. Uh-oh, are you gonna save him? Save him, quickly, you're not gonna save him? Then we're gonna save him. Oh, Yoshi, he's finally here, we saved him. Yay, ah, the famous Yoshi. And with Spawny no less, Fortune has finally smiled upon us with a happy little Yoshi. I don't know how to make the Yoshi noise, sorry. Uh, but we have no time to celebrate. Bowser Jr. could be back any second. We need to get the Spawny out of here now. So, Yoshi, is it true you have your own island? Oh, of course he does. Whoa, what's happening? Are you, you okay? Stand back, don't frighten him. You're the one who's closest, dude. Spawny, are you all right? I can't believe we have Yoshi. That's like the best way to turn around the, uh, the, the bitterness I have right now. Yes, well, we're glad to see you too. Yay, we, hopefully he understands that we saved him. Oh, ah, uh, well, I suppose you have unleashed a swath of all inspiring destruction across the Mushroom Kingdom, thanks to your reckless handling of the Super Merge. Oh, don't be mean to him. Er, um, but as colossal disasters go, this was not so bad. Let's see here, um, the positives are, um, hmm. Yes, the Sherbert Desert was cool, plus now we all know how to spell Sherbert. <laughs> Boy, was that a surprise. I feel so bad. Mario and the gang is being so supportive now. Okay, we did it. <laughs> the humor of this game is crazy. That is probably our worst score we've ever had for anything, but I'm just glad we completed it. Oh my gosh. If you guys have any advice for that boss fight, I would love to hear it. Bowser Jr.'s lair. At least we got the silver. Somehow we still got the silver, probably because of the, how well we perfected the first thing. Oh my gosh, and we get Yoshi, my boy. Saddle up Yoshi's in the warpath. Boost him via skill tree to face the challenges to come. And then we got new weapons in stock. There are new weapons available for purchase at the Battle HQ. Awesome, I really need new weapons, and I really need to take a nap. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. If you watched this the video, make sure you comment Zebra Spawny so now you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on the screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.